It's a new game. Thank you very much as well, dudes. Fucking, that's a start, isn't it? That's a start. Tanker, plant, tanker, or plant? <laughs> we got we got the option of tanker, plant, tanker, or plant. I'm gonna go tanker, plant. I like. <laughs> Difficulty level... I am a confident player. But I also do like standards. And for, for non... Uh, well, I have some standards. For, for non-action for non -action experts. You see, I actually consider myself to be an action expert. I, I have a lot of expertise in action. Very easy for beginners. Nah. I, I like standards. Even though I am quite confident, I, I like standards. We're going for normal. Radar Type 1. Radar in Sons of Liberty appears even during Intrusion View. See, this makes sense to me. Radar in Sons of Liberty does not appear during Intrusion View. Uh, view. I'm just gonna sit on the menus all, all night and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, hey, this is it, guys. This is it. I mean, oh, I should briefly mention, this will not be going to YouTube. Konami and end of story. Um, but no, it won't be going to YouTube, and we're, we're fucking... Over the past year, HGSF has gone back to roots. Very laid back, very chilled out, very deliberately unpaced. So this is the, this is old school HGSF style for you right here, guys. It was already going back to the style, and shit, I'll bring it fucking back for it, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. I will fucking ramble mid-game. I will fucking sit there for however long it fucking takes to get my point across. Just fuck about. I, that's, that's old school, that's roots. HGSFR. Either way, it was on Type 2, I have no idea what these fucking things are doing, and we're just gonna leave it on defaults. Oh, the story's fictional, any and all similarities to characters are probably not true. Something along those lines. I, I looked away, didn't make the alert sound this time when I looked away, but... The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. So it's all dried up with snot, so you can't smell. Poor snake. Did you know that bridges are actually deceptively complex to make? You see, you learn quite a lot with HGSF. Next time you see a bridge, I guarantee you'll appreciate it a bit more. You actually go, you know what, since OGG said that, I actually see what he says now. There's actually quite a lot that goes into the construction of a, a proper bridge. You, don't, you see, you don't believe me? That's, that's useless, is that OTG? No, you watch. Next time you see a bridge, you'll preach. Metal Gear Renko. It's always a good start to a game when it's raining. You know me, I like me fucking rain. So, piss it down at the beginning of a game. You probably got me sold out of the gate. Especially considering he's walking- Oh, look at this, with his hood, so he don't get his sig wet. Good shit, good shit. It's amazing how you can actually smoke even when your sig gets really fucking piss wet through. I think that's probably gotta be- yeah, it's got a bit too wet now. You wouldn't smoke it down as low as usual, but you can still smoke when it's raining pretty alright, actually. It's funner. Hey, up. Oh, bro. Oh, time it. Oh, I keep thinking that's in game. <laughs> he, did <the> <laughs> he did this jump and it went, bro. <laughs> it's meant to be all dramatic and shit like that. And it, it, that was, that was, that was so good. Unfortunately, it's impossible for anybody to time an alert. But damn, there's some good opportunities for it. That's a like that's a like a new meta mechanic, isn't it? If you can time it to something apt in game. Like fucking meta tip mechanic. Bro. Harry Gregson Williams is the music guy. Bro. <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. Damn, he got Terminator effects on his cloak. F 
for an espionage guy, he took a long time to check out his surroundings there. He looked up, took him about 10 seconds or something like that. I just landed on the enemy boat, but no worries about scouting out or all. Oh, Ocelot fucking showing off again. Is that helicopter going backwards then? You see that? Is that me? Did that go backwards? What was that? I know, that's what I was about to say, that Skyrim fucking f dragons flying backwards, it's like... Did Bethesda code a bit of this? You had one job, Bethesda, make the helicopters go forward. Here we go, guys. Metal Gear Solid 2. Bring, bring. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Oh, Otacon looks alright now. Camo's busted. Nothing weird about that, I'm just saying. I must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. <laughs> right. Bro? You're not in the military anymore? <laughs> the private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guarantee? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? I like the codex screen. I say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. Mei Ling? That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. She's not around anymore. From the SSCEN again? But give her a message from me. Someone will find out sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. Anti-Metal Gears. So there's so many Metal Gears around now. Visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear. They have to make anti-Metal Gears. And bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, <laughs> huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method. We don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontation. Oh, man. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Kim's like kryptonite to me. I don't know why everybody wants me to play him so much. An anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still free. Avoid everything. Like, I'm so good at that in all the other games that I play. When it comes to destroying everything, you see, that is my forte. Right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer. <laughs> a from a Beretta M92F. You got a gun, bro. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. <laughs> you haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. What have I got a camera for? They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Arnold, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, 
Putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. Oh, bad guys. Maybe it was those guys that left that 9pm start text on my fucking stream. Maybe they did.